Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Anas and I'm a teacher at the International Knowledge School. In today's lesson, uh, we'll be learning a new les uh, episode, uh, lesson. In today's episode, we'll be learning a new lesson, sorry. Uh, but first, I have to take a look at something that we've done in the last episode. Uh, let's take a look. It's in the weight lesson. Balancing, yes. So in this lesson, apparently this was an eraser and this was a rubber. But that doesn't change the answer as an eraser is usually, well, depends on what sort of eraser you're looking at. But usually erasers are heavier than a spoon, so the answer is the same. And then the rubber, the rubber depends on the size as well because there are big rubbers and small rubbers. Uh, so they can be heavier or lighter. So let's keep the answer like it is and uh, assume that they are both uh, like proper heavy uh, eraser and rubber. Okay, so the eraser is heavier than the spoon and the rubber is heavier than the spoon. Uh, so that doesn't change them, uh, doesn't change much to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I just needed to say that because I could not tell from the picture what they were. But I took a look uh, at teacher's book and apparently they were. Something else. Okay. So, in today's lesson, we're going for time, days of the week, okay? So, learn the names and order of the days of the week, okay? So, we have seven days in a week, and they are, let's count, one day, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we have seven days in a week, so seven days, okay? Each day has a name. Okay, now of course we start on Sunday, not on Monday, so Sunday should be here. So the, the whole thing should look a little bit different than what it does here, but we'll always start on Sunday. Okay, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, now I want you to listen and repeat this time, okay? Sunday. Sunday. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Okay, great. When you pronounce them quickly, say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. If you practice long enough, you'll be able to say them uh, a lot faster. So try to pa practice slowly at first, and then with time, you'll be able to say them faster and use them in a conversation. Like for example, today's Sunday, tomorrow is Monday, after tomorrow is Tuesday, yesterday was Saturday. So you can use them in sentences like that. Okay. So now let's take a look at the following questions. Write the day that follows these. Okay, so Tuesday, next day is, what's after Tuesday? Wednesday, so you have to write Wednesday. Days are always capital. So we can tell the difference between them and other things in the sentence. Okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, what's after Saturday? Sunday. Okay, now I answer the first two. I want you to pause the video and answer the rest on your own, and then we will answer them together. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, so if you pause the video and you play it again, let's take a look. I'll try to bring this closer, just so you can see clearer. All right, that's much clearer. Sunday on this one. Here, Friday, what's after Friday? Uh, Saturday. Let me try to use the light so it's more visible. Okay, I think that's better. Alright, that might be better. Good. 
Okay, Monday, then we have, what's after Monday? Tuesday. So this is Monday? Tuesday is the next day. Okay, so next day is Tuesday. Next up, what we have? What do we have? Thursday. What's after Thursday? Thursday, Friday. Oops, it shouldn't be that much distance between the letters. So Friday. Wednesday. What's after Wednesday? Thursday. So here, right? Thursday. Thursday. I'm sorry if that's not visible, but for the most part, it should be. So here, first day, Sunday. All right, yeah, this should be for the mo most part, it should be visible. So we have most of the answers. The last one is Sunday. What's after Sunday? Monday. Okay, so let's take a look at the answers. We have Wednesday. Sunday, Saturday, Tuesday, Friday, Thursday, and Monday. Okay, so these are like the day that's after all of these days. All right, now here we have the opposite. The next question is writing the opposite. So here, write the days or write the day that comes before these. So here, writing the day that comes before. So here, what comes before Thursday? Wednesday. So here you write Wednesday. Okay, now go ahead and pause the video. Try to answer these on your own, the same way you did the others, and then we will check it out together. So go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, if you pause the video, let's take a look. I think this is better. Might actually be worse. Okay, that's actually worse. All right, good. Uh, so this is Wednesday, the one that I wrote down. Then B, we have Wednesday. What comes before Wednesday? Tuesday. That's Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, C, we have Monday. What comes before a Monday? Sunday. And then we have D, Tuesday. What comes before a Tuesday? Monday. Monday. Okay, Sunday, what comes before a Sunday? Saturday. If this is not clear enough, you can always get the spelling from here. I'm just trying to write slow to match the writing speed, uh, your writing speed, so that you don't feel like uh, it's too fast. Okay? So what comes before a Saturday? Friday. Okay, and the last one is Friday. What comes before a Friday? Thursday. Okay, so now let's take a look back. We have Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, so these are the order of the days that we uh, use every day so you need to memorize all of these so you know what happens on each day so for example you have uh, a picnic on Tuesday so you need to know how many days are left until the picnic uh, and today is Saturday or Sunday and the picnic is Tuesday so it's in one two so it's in for one day it's after one day so it's after Monday so it's on Sunday, 
and the picnic is on uh, Tuesday, so it's after one day, uh, you're going to go out on a picnic. Uh, for example, you have a football match on Thursday. Today is Monday. So it's one, two. It's in two days. So after Tuesday and Wednesday, it will be on Thursday. The match will be on Thursday. So that's how you can tell or how you can use uh, the days of the week. Okay? So again, there are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Sunday is the beginning of the week. This is where the week starts. And Friday or Saturday or Thursday is where the week ends. So these two are we off. So Friday and Saturday are considered weekend holiday. That's why we don't go to school. We don't work because they are off. So Thursday is the end of the week. Friday and Saturday are the weekend uh, vacation or just like a weekend days off. Okay, so these are two days off. And then we go back to the same circle again with Sunday being the start of the week. And then we go to the same circle again. Okay, I hope these answers were clear. If they were not, you can always uh, copy the spelling from the, the circle of days. Okay, so now next up, join these days in order. Start with Monday. So where is Monday? Now, here they're starting with Monday because the Monday is the start of the week. But we will start from Sunday. Okay, so let's start with Sunday. Monday. Now, I want you to pause the video and try to answer this on your own. And then play the video again and answer it with me. So go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, if you pause the video and you play it again, let's take a look. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, where's Friday? Friday. Saturday. Okay, so let's take a look here. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then, of course, we go back to Sunday. Okay, so that's, that the circle keeps going, so it doesn't stop. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It doesn't stop. The circle keeps going in the same order. Okay, so that's great for this one. Finished. Now we can go ahead to the next uh, page and look at the assessment. Join the glasses in order. Start with the full glass. Okay, now here we join the glasses from full to empty. So we have to write them in order. Now, I want you to do this on your own, but uh, I'll write numbers and then we match them afterwards. Write numbers uh, showing the order of the glasses. So first we have the full one and then the less full one and then the less full and then the less full. So you have to uh, do them in order. Okay, so oops, sorry. So go ahead and pause the video now and write two three, four, and five for the rest of them. Okay, so if you pause the video and you play it again, let's take a look. So this is one. This should be two. It's less full. This is three. This is four. And this is five. Okay, so this is full. This is less full. Less, less, and this is empty. So let's match them. So we have one, two, three, four, Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. That's how we match uh, these classes. Okay, so complete the sentence. This sentence, box A or B is heavier than box A or B. So which one is heavier, A or B? You have to guess. Now, if you guess B, hmm, well, it's down. Down is heavier. Up is lighter. So here we have heavier. So B is heavier than A. 
the opposite is right, we can say box A is heavier than box B. Okay? So that's how we do it. Box B is heavier. Oh, sorry. Here I meant to write lighter. Let me get an eraser. Okay. Is lighter. Okay. So here, box B is heavier than box A. Box A is lighter than box B. Let's take a look back at the heavier and lighter lesson, just so we can uh, review what we've done in the last episode where we took that lesson. So let me put that a bit further away so it's clearer and you can see the whole book. Okay. Now we're good. Okay. So let's take a look. Now here we have the, the balance, like this one here, compares the weights. Okay, so they can tell us which one is heavier and which one is lighter. Okay, so here, the one that is lower, or the one that is down, is usually the one that is heavier. So here, if we have a balance, then we have two objects on it. This is on the left, I'll do this on the right. If this one is going down, usually means this is heavier and this is lighter so this is 25 for example and this is 10 this is heavier that's why it keeps going down now the more down this goes the heavier it is so I'll show you another example see it's this one is a lot more uh, down this is Let's say 40, <coughs> this is still 10. Okay, so the further down the one on the right or the one down the down on the downside, it means it's heavier. So here 25 is heavier than 10, 40 is heavier than 10, or a lot more heavier than 10. So that's how we can compare different weights. Okay, so we have two important words which are heavier. Well, let's see if they wrote them down here. Okay. Heavier, oh no, this is higher. Oh, right here, heavier. Take this away. And two important words are heavier and lighter. Okay, the lower piece or the one that is down is heavier. The higher piece or the one that is up is lighter. Okay, so remember that whenever you see a scale, the one that is up or high is light, the one that is down or lower is heavier. Okay. So that's it for today's lesson. Uh, remember to review, revise the days and memorize them because they are very important, not only for this lesson, but for life in general, because you need to know the days of the week. So let's go ahead and I'll give you today's homework. Circle the one that is heavier. So here you have to look at the pictures and circle the one that is heavier, okay? So in this case, we have a spoon and we have a plate full of food. Of course, a plate full of food is a lot heavier than the spoon, okay? So circle the one that is heavier, okay? Thank you, much for, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.